guys, Miss Charlie here. We're going to do another eyeshadow palette collection video. I did all of my BH palettes and now I'm going to take out these other ones here, more indie brand ones, and we're going to take those out and we're going to do those. Plus there's a few other palettes in the drawer below that, so that's what we're going to go over today. Okay, so I'm going to start with what's in the bottom drawer, which is mostly like my lippies and stuff like that, but there's a couple of palettes in there. So this is my Anastasia collection other than the really big Norvina palette that I have. This is my collection. I have gotten rid of about three or four, maybe yeah, about four palettes. I had the um, Alyssa Edwards, the Self Made, the um world traveler and the artist so that's four that i've gotten rid of so far and then i still have these in my collection and then i have this one from colored rain this is their vivid pigments this was a gift from my bestie and i love this palette so i'm going to go into this one first i only have one colored rain yeah one colored rain palette and that's this one i have a couple of singles and it's just a rainbow palette. It's very pretty, very pigmented. This red, I love me a good red, good green, and we'll go into this purple. I don't think you can get this anymore. Beautiful red. I didn't get in there with that green very well with these nails. And then this beautiful purple. They're very nice. They blend well. They're nice for darker skin tones, which Colored Rain is a black owned brand. So, you know, this is suited for people of color who want to get that punch out of their shadows and don't have to really do a whole lot to get that impact. Then with these, I have the OG Modern Renaissance. And this is the original one. This was my favorite palette for a long time. She's dirty, but she's not as dirty as she would be if I didn't keep her in her box. And that's what she looks like. I panned the Venetian Red, one of my favorite colors I used to use all the time. And there's dips in these other ones, but this is a favorite palette. Then the uh, Jackie Ina, beautiful packaging. And I had to support Miss Miss Jackie. Outside is also gorgeous. And then the inside reflects the outside. Beautiful colors, beautiful shimmers and mattes. Again, great for people with a darker skin tone or for anybody. The Riviera. I like this packaging because it's canvas beautiful and I love the colors in here and this is like a rainbow palette but a little bit more muted and I love the shimmers in here and then the last one is the first Norvina she's a little dirty she's been used Oop. still have the brushes gorgeous palette as well she's messy and used but i love these tones as well so those were my palettes that are in my um abh collection and then this one from colored rain hey next i have these palettes from crayon case these were also gifted to me from my friend and they had different colors um, but she got me the um, the red and the black this is the red one it's got some very nice shimmers in here very nice shimmers and then the black one which I like because this is great for if you like good smoky eyes our neutral makeup these are also gorgeous I'm gonna do this black right here 
and this color here. It's a little bit crumbly. That's beautiful. And then the black, it's got a little bit of a, a glitter in it. It's got a, a scarlet color. And then this one is just a little bit lighter than that one. They are very similar, very similar, but this one is a little darker. But I have these two and they're so cute. They look like little notebooks. I think this is one of my only Revolution palettes that I have left other than the little small one. This one is the Dark Rain. Plain. and I like these colors because they're dark dark colors and you have the shimmers that go with the mattes I love this green right here it's just a dark grungy green and then this is just a taupe with a little bit of rose gold in it but other than that one, no photos, please. I think this is the only Revolution one that I have other than like a collab, um, a Revolution collab. The Pretty Vulgar um, Nightingale. I love this for smoky eyes. I've used this so many times. It's very pigmented, very nice. I love this so much. And then the uh, Jeffree Star Androgyny palette the only Jeffree Star palette I have and I wanted it because of the reds in here because at the time I loved me a good red palette I, I mean a uh, uh, eyeshadow and I still do and this color fetish is a beautiful like blood red it's absolutely gorgeous all right so next I have this indica by flaunt beauty this was a gift from a insta friend they were on sale and she bought me one which I appreciate it's a really cute little package and the colors in here are very nice I've used this many many times really pretty and nice and I have the sugar pill a uh, fun size 2 the fun sized one was a little too light for me this one is a little bit deeper still pastels but it's deeper pastels and this is all matte and they do show up on my eyes they are absolutely gorgeous and this was the first time I um, am was trying sugar pill so this is my only sugar pill palette This is the Serendipity palette from Alien Cosmetics, which is now unearthly. Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. It looks like it is just gold foil. The colors in here are beautiful. You see there's a little dip in there. They're so pretty. These are two like dual chromes. so pretty this looks copper to me but then you see pink this one looks purple but then you see blue so so stunning and I do have a few unearthly palettes as well so they went from alien cosmetics to unearthly the sugar drizzle I kept hearing people talk about sugar drizzle and then when they came out with this palette which is the milf man I love frogs palette I had to jump in and try them out and I was not disappointed this palette is absolutely stunning stunning so so pretty let's try one more let's do this green look at that green it is like foil 
so pretty and it turned it's blue too see I'm you're seeing green I'm seeing like a really teal blue so pretty it's so so pretty I'm so glad that I tried them out I've seen some of their other palettes but they haven't called out to me but I really really love frogs so the last two here I have and then I have two more is the Kaleidos these were from their creation um, collection this packaging is so nice so soft and it's cushy as well and with the creation I don't know if you can tell they have ovaries on them because that's kind of where creation starts is in the ovaries and this one is in flowing haze which is you know muted purples Oop, come on get in there there we go some muted purple like a plum really nice if you like neutrals this would be great for every day and they had a couple different color stories and this one is in flowing iris also beautiful packaging nice and squishy and this one is also purple but it's cooler toned purples This beautiful. I love Kaleidos. I have quite a few of their palettes as well, which we will get to later on. But those are two from their Creation Collection. So the last two for this video are from Morph Morphe. These are the two of their really huge palettes. This one is the Dare to Create. This was my first one purchased of the large um, well, it's the only one I purchased. The other one I have was a gift. But I love this palette. Great neutrals. You can use this for face and eyes. So you can use this, these here as contour, bronzers, whatnot. And then you have all of these colors in here. I love this red. Duh. It's an orangey red. And it's like a satin. That's so pretty. And this little mermaidy color and I kept the lid because it has I mean the, the plastic because it has all the names on it but yeah you can use this for face eyes brows whatever you need it for so this was the dare to create and then I have the James Charles this was given to me by my bestie um, and she surprised me because we went on a little trip um, to Chicago and she surprised me with this and then we both used it and we were both very very un what's the word un we were not we were not what is the word help me out here disappointed to say I was we were disappointed in it we were disappointed in it she tried it I tried it it was like eh. <laughs> she did a video using this and I will link it below we, this was years and years ago but I will still link the video below when we used to do videos together showing you know how it worked on her and whatnot and just mm -mm. some of the colors in here are good some of them are just not so good not so good at all but I will continue to use it because she did give it to me. I mean, I have decluttered some things that she has given me, but I will continue to try to use this because I like bright colors and some of the colors in here are really good. But if I don't find myself using it or liking it, I'd say by the end of this year, I will probably take out the colors that I like and then declutter the rest of it. But I, we, were, we were not in, we were, we were not happy with it 
<laughs> just saying that we were not happy with it at all all right so these are back into the drawer with the bh ones everything's nice and neat i thank you all again for hanging out with me going through my collection appreciate you so very much make sure you follow me here on youtube and on instagram and we will see you in the next makeup collection video